Hey y'all, Oracle Scarlet Dragon Star here with you today, and we're kind of doing a little love reading. Well, something kind of like that. Uh, we're doing Shifting Your Beliefs to Manifest True Love, which I just feel like is so perfect at this time, you know? And this is going to be for Libra energy. If you have Libra energy anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. So what does Libra need to know about clearing limited beliefs about love? We have the past a prison. Bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. So I feel with the past is a prison and limiting beliefs about love. I have a feeling that you may feel that mm, true love isn't real. Maybe for some of y'all, like, the past has been painful, and I'm hearing, like, someone say, like, oh, well, like, no one's ever going to love me, or something like that. Okay, hold on. Clearing limited beliefs about love. So, holding on to the past does keep you in like a prison. Refusing to let go of the past keeps you in the past. You know, being angry, upset about how anything has happened in your life and some of the journey that you had to go on. It's just something that needs to be let go of. You know, things that happen to us as a child, you know, we can't help. But as we get older, you shouldn't be in that same situation anymore. You should be able to create your reality, what you want in your life, where you, what you want to be doing, you know, things that you enjoy. Uh, the people that you have around you. Because um, you don't have to keep uh, people around you that doesn't deserve to be around you. That only causes chaos and backstabbing. You know, don't need those kind of people around you. No one's better than. So if they're not better than, then why are they in your face? You know, it, it, they, they're not better than, so they need to go somewhere else, you know, or show some respect, and if they can't do that, then they could go somewhere else while you're respecting your space, showing love to you. That'll be showing love, true love to yourself, so you can bring in true love. Um... But holding on to things that people have done to you or anything like that, all it's going to do is keep you in the past. Keep you thinking about the past. Keep you stuck in the past. Yeah, you might be here in the future, in the present time, but you're still thinking about the past. So, yes. You could be meeting new people, doing new things, just having fun, doing the things that you want in your world. Not everybody's life needs to look the same. You could be someone who just likes to kick back, read books, and um, you know, create audio books. And like, you don't need that much, and you enjoy your life. Something that be yes with the past as a prison. Don't let the past keep you in a prison. You know? 
Look for people that inspire you. To help you bring out the passions in your life. That can help you realize some of the things that you like to do. That you want to be doing and creating in your life. That will help you see where your passions would lie. The things that you want to create in your world. That you want to create in your world. Alright. Letting go of past attachments. We have a call for help. Reach out. Need for backup. Admit your needs. Deal with this. Don't be too prideful. To get help in the ways that you need. You know, that's why there's many of us and not just one spirit. There's many of us. Because not, we're not all going to be good at everything. Or to source. Or nature. Um, and also. With letting go of your past attachments. Um, you know, meet. I feel like with this. Is meeting new people as well. You know, joining groups, joining a group, joining the things that you're interested in, and just slowly, you know, opening up, talking to other people, meeting people. And I feel like that will also help because I feel like maybe for some of y'all, y'all need to be a little bit more social. Some I mean, of that stuff really sucks, but. I mean, once you realize that, like, the true truth in things of, like, I mean, with some people, you grow up, your parents, they knew, you know, they, they learned things from their past ancestors, their past and their past. And yes, that doesn't give people excuses. It means that maybe you can have an understanding with it. And to know to for sure you're going to love yourself. Yeah, with this... Um, the past, the love that others have shown you, or like family, they only know how to love at a certain extent of the family before them and what they were taught, you know, but we can break out of those family, what they call curses, and, um, you know, be better. Love yourself more. Have an understanding for them, but doesn't mean that they need to be up in your face. That you need to keep people close to you that appreciate and love you just as much. And you're for sure going to love your damn self. Because why not? You exist. You have purpose. You are meant to be here. You are meant to have fun and experience things. All right. Next we have becoming your own best friend, immortal, the consuming family, Pressure of peers, six. So I kind of feel with this, I don't know, with that six number, that you might be a person, some of y'all, that like sacrifice yourselves a lot. I, I still kind of do that sometimes, but I'm getting way better at not doing that. Um, Cause I used to do it to the extreme of not taking care of myself, not doing anything for myself, and just doing it for everybody else all the damn time. And that's something that you have to break, you have to get out of. You have to care about yourself. 
Um, you have a life. You're not a slave. You have a life. And you're going to live your damn life. You know, the consuming family. Pressure appears. Oh, do this for me. Oh, do this for me. You don't owe anybody nothing. You don't owe anybody nothing. For what? I don't care who they are. They're not better than you. You're a spirit just like them. So, why do you need to keep going to your death for someone? Will they do that for you? So, becoming your own best friend is making sure you put yourself first. Spirit first. God is within. And in the Bible, it talks about put no one before God. Yes, there's many of us. But it's talking about the God within. Not saying anyone's better than anybody. But you can't put yourself beneath people as well. You can't put yourself beneath anyone. It's supposed to be equal give and take of energy. That's real love. That's really loving God. Goddess. So... Yeah. Loving yourself is also not worrying about what anybody else has to say about you. Because if they got a problem, they could go somewhere else. And, uh, like I said before, what makes them better than you? Friends or family or whoever. Someone at your job. Who are they? What are they going to do? And, you know, if they turn their back on you, obviously they're not true love. And obviously they weren't really trying to be your family or your friend. And you can get new ones. All of that. And more. And better. And actually a life of love. That's the way of becoming your best friend, your own best friend. Is... Not uh, killing yourself for family, friends, or other people that wouldn't do it for wouldn't do it for you. You know they wouldn't do it. So why are you not taking care of yourself? Why are you not making sure that your teeth is taken care of, or you that you're um, cleansed and your hair is nice, and that you're going and buying yourself nice stuff and making sure that you're all right before you're making sure everybody else is all right because once you're gone then what's going to happen how are you going to be able to take care of anybody or do anything for anybody you have to take time out for yourself for your mind to slow down your mind to be able to think clear and alert and knowing what's going on around you Also, we have connecting source, nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. <laughs> connecting source. High standards. That's also going into what I was talking about. Like, if you really want to know God, if you really want to be connected with God you seek hard right and the knowledge and understanding of God within and you're not supposed to be putting anyone above that right because no one's better than you need to have higher standards and that will help you to connect to source more honor yourself I feel like many of you are uh, with this nobility card and are a very high honored spirit 
over generations and lifetimes. And you really need to connect into your past life because it'll help you with your abilities. But yes, have higher standards. Higher standards in your life. Set boundaries. Respect yourself so you can respect others better. And be more real with yourself. Then we have understanding the opposite sex or partners or, you know, people in your life. But or mate. Love conquers all. Enduring love, eternal love, lasting commitment. I feel like your mate or friendships need to be people who show you true love, unconditional love, not love with conditions. Oh, I only like you if you do this. I only care about you if you do this. What makes them so much more important? What makes them so better then? <laughs> really? Their potential and abilities are better than yours? No. No. That's probably why many of them are around. You know? And they'd be scared to lose you. So when it comes to your mate, love conquers all. And people in your life have allow those the ones that really show you true love to be there in your life and with love conquers all just have a great understanding of truth and being real with yourself is true love and being able to love everyone else around you unconditionally not sugarcoating anything, not hiding anything. This is what sometimes tough love is. Unconditional love. It's the real love. And you need that in all of your relationships. And next we have Developing your communication skills. So spreading of conditions, influence, impact. I feel like... Sharing your messages. Sharing messages with people. You know, talking to people. Um, watching others as well. Listening to them and talking as well will help you communicate better. Really paying attention to those that you admire will help you with learning how to communicate with others. So, with developing your communication skills, uh, pay attention to those that you admire. Those that uh, you know, that can help you with you getting in touch with that part of yourself, of being able to express yourself and to connect with people better. I feel like that is something that will help you communicate. And definitely just talking with others talking with other people, socializing. You know, some people really don't like try to give, uh, social media as a tool it can be used for good or bad. So use it for good in the sense that it helps you with socializing. That's a big part of our life that we need. And it'll build your communication skills. Don't worry about what other people think about um, your beliefs or things like that or things that you don't understand. We live and learn and grow. Um, not everything's going to be perfect. And that's why you speak out. So you can learn. Even if we mess up. Or, you know, people are not always going to agree. And that's fine. Like I said, they don't like you. They can hit the road. They got a problem, they can go. No people that 
actually, you know, want to love other people and they still don't agree, they'll still be there. They still want to be there. Because they're like, well, I might not agree, but hey, I can maybe learn something from this person. All right, we have embracing online dating, opportunity challenges, or just dating in general. We have creator, catalyst, maker, mother, father. So I believe with this creator, start getting creative, start building things, start designing things, making things, and I feel like that will help you get out there to mingle, get in groups, and meeting other people. Yeah. And right now I feel like you're facing knowledge, study, learn, education. Because the more we know, knowledge is power. I mean, it just is. The more you know, the more, it's just the more we can survive easier, the more everything's just better. And it will bring true love to you. And for you to see it when it's in your life already. <laughs> Definitely be studying and getting into things that you're interested in. All right, y'all. This was for Libra Energy. I hope you like this and enjoyed this reading and that it gave you some insight. If you liked, hit the like button, subscribe, and remember to create your reality. We're the ones that are in charge of our destiny, mostly. Um, our circle and where we're at and what we're doing and what we're creating. I mean, yes, we're here with many other stars, but um, we still are creating with them. So get, make sure you're seeing what you want to see in your reality, building what you want to see in your reality, and mastering yourself. Mastering this place. Mastering the realms. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I love y'all. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.